Hello folks. Today I'm going to talk about getting started shooting in manual mode with your camera. This will be a three-part series of videos covering the three main settings you'll have to deal with while shooting in manual mode in order to control the exposure of your pictures. Even in manual mode there are things the camera takes care of automatically or based on a preference setting that you don't have to change for every shot. I'm only going to focus on the main settings you need to be familiar with to get good exposures shooting in manual mode and also how those settings will affect your pictures beyond just the exposure. I'm going to talk about shutter speed, aperture, and ISO. And rather than one long video, I'll break it up into multiple parts, one for each setting. These videos will not be camera specific. Unfortunately, there's just too many cameras out there for me to go into detail on how to operate every individual camera. So you're, you may have to consult your manual if you don't know how to adjust these settings. These videos are going to be about how these settings affect your images, so you won't be completely lost when you put your camera into manual mode. I'll include some example pictures as well in order to demonstrate how the discussed settings affect the image. Each of the settings I'm going to talk about works to allow you to capture the correct amount of light for your image, but each setting also affects the image in unique ways. Once you get the hang of all the settings, you'll be able to use all three together to capture the amount of light you want while also balancing the other effects they have on the image. You can also make these effects work to create a look you want while using the other settings to ensure you still have the amount of light you need for proper exposure. First I'll cover shutter speed. Shutter speed is just what it sounds like. When you take a picture the shutter opens to expose the sensor to light. The shutter speed is how quickly the shutter recloses, or said another way, how long the shutter stays open. Shutter speed can range anywhere from upwards of 1 8,000th of a second to 30 seconds or more for special situations. Different cameras support different minimum and maximum shutter speeds, and, but the longer the shutter stays open, the more time the sensor will be exposed to light and the brighter the image will be. A faster shutter speed will result in the shutter being open for less time and will result in a darker image. A slower shutter speed results in a brighter image. So in simplest terms, if your image is too bright, increase the shutter speed. If it's too dark, lower the shutter speed. Here's where it gets slightly more complicated. The longer the shutter is open, the more light you will get to your image, but also the more time there is for your subject or for the camera itself to move. Long, a long shutter speed means that there's more likelihood that camera shake or subject movement will blur your image. A fast shutter speed means that there's less time for movement to blur the image. It's usually much easier to get a crisp, sharp picture with a fast shutter speed. A very fast shutter speed can stop movement freezing a moving subject in place. This can be used to generate a specific look. Likewise, a slow shutter speed can cause movement blur, which is also used for effect in images. Play with different shutter speeds and see how it affects your pictures. Practice and experiment. Eventually you'll find that you want to control the image exposure in other ways to get the shots you want. Maybe limited light doesn't allow for a fast enough shutter for a sharp shot, while also allowing enough light for a properly exposed one. Luckily, you have other settings at your disposal. And in the next video, we'll talk about aperture. Thanks for watching. Take care.